migrants who are here not legally, let's just say that, following allegations of misconduct, calls to move migrants out of Chicago police stations grow louder. So basically, I have to ask the question to Democrats at this point. Did you want to move these migrants into this country to allow police officers to have their fun? Because if not, then what is the answer to this? Because bottom line is Chicago police, we have we as 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 black Americans have been telling the, the Democrats in, in this country that Chicago police and, and so many police departments across this country are trash. Trash. And for some reason, the Democrats have not listened. So will Democrats listen listen now? Now that you are finding out that so many of these police officers are allegedly predators. You know? Had you listened to your black residents, your native black Americans, your black descendants of American slaves, these people would be in countries where, 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 where other people speak Spanish. They wouldn't even be here. But no, Democrats want them here to try to replace us. And then on top of that, you're allowing race soldiers to abuse them. So, you know, I guess Democrats don't really care about these people. They just want them here as a voting block. And then if officers happen to abuse them, well, they treat them just like they treat black people. They don't care. They were never people to Democrats, apparently. I mean, if not, then how come Democrats have not fixed this problem yet, huh? And when I say problem, I mean actually helping the black descendants of, of, of American slaves versus people who are not citizens. And then once the people who are not citizens get here, why do you allow race soldiers who we've been telling you for the for longest times are a bunch of predators and murderers? Why do you allow these people to essay all the migrants, women and children? Wow, Democrats, this is on your watch. The Republicans are not in are are not in power in Chicago. You can say, well, well, what about Greg Abbott? He he drove a lot of them there. Well, bottom line is, if someone drives a group of people to your state, does that now give your police officers license to test them? Hmm? No, either way, Democrats, it's your fault. It's your fault for forcing these, these people to come, come into this country, and it's also your fault, Democrats. Democrats, it's... It, it is it is also your fault because we we as your native black population have been telling you that the police are predators. We've been saying that for the longest time. And what do you do, Democrats? You do nothing. You allow these people to exist on the streets and you fund them even more. Joe Biden did that without doing any kind of reforms. There's no reforms. If there were if there were were, were reforms, how does a story like this even happen? Don't give me excuses for Democrats. You're just going to make me hate them even more. I don't want to hear about Republicans. Black people have not been given Republicans 80 or 90% of our votes for the past 50, 60 years. How in the world, like, like just for example, if you want to criticize a company, right? You don't just criticize everybody who happens to buy from the country, from the, from, from, from the company. Because given the scenario, you don't have a choice, right? You criticize the investors. Who invested in this? Well, Democrats, instead of you causing actual police reform in Chicago, you invested in the police. Instead of you actually fixing things for your native black population who's been asking for better schools, better housing, more help for the homeless, reparations, more police reform. They've been asking for all those things, right? You didn't give any of that. And now you've got predators who target the same migrants who rushed into this country to try to replace us. Democrats, it's your fault all the way around. Republicans didn't even want these people here. And if they weren't here, they wouldn't be abused by your race soldiers, Democrats. That's on you. You caused that. You caused that. And if you say, well, well we didn't do it. Well, what you going to do to fix it? Huh? What you going to do to fix it? Because I got a, a sneaky suspicion, right? I got a sneaky suspicion that nothing will happen in this 
case. If the police officers are just going to get away with it, these predators with badges are just going to get away with it. Nothing will happen to them. They'll be just fine and dandy. And, and it won't be the race soldiers who get criticism, who, who, who get criticized. It's going to be me for covering the case because of my opinion surround the case. What is what is more important right now? Is it my opinion that, that you are just so knee jerk mad about? Oh, how could you say that? <laughs> Is that more concerning right now? Or is the fact that race soldiers are out here violating people? Which is more important? Because I know there's some idiot out there watching this right now going, How could you say that about the migrants? Don't you want them in your neighborhoods? Hey, white person. Because most likely you, you're, you're, you're freaking white. Right? How come they're not in your neighborhoods? They stuffed them into parts of Chicago, not even the white parts. They put them in the black parts. And now you see the very same police officers who are in black neighborhoods, who we told you are murderous, violent predators, are now showing you that they are murderous, violent predators because now it ain't just black people saying it. So all the people out there who's going to have this stupid knee-jerk response, uh, well, I'm going to let this, and I think, shut up. I'm done with people on the far right and the far left. Because both of you use black people as sacrificial lambs, you parasites. I have tried to find allies. And what do I find? Deceit. Gaslighting. It has taken everything in my power to not go into a profanity lace rant right now. Because I want to keep this live stream going. But the one thing that I ain't going to tolerate no more is these fake allies come lecturing me about immigration. Shut the hell up. Zip it or I will make you zip it. I am sick of this. You want to know why? Because black people got to pay taxes in that area for these people who are not citizens. And then when these officers abuse the people who are not citizens, there's going to be lawsuits. And guess who's going to have to pay the, po the freaking police misconduct lawsuits? The black people who are already paying damn taxes for the people who are not citizens. Anyone who can't get that is a scumbag. And I'll say it right to your face. Why does black people have to suffer for the actions of a race soldier? And why is it a bunch of people are being rushed into our neighborhoods? When you had plenty of white neighborhoods, you could have put them in. Plenty of them. Only certain parts of Chicago is poor. Only certain parts. There's some other parts that are very white and very well-to-do. How come they're not being rushed there? All you so-called allies, riddle me that before you give me some stupid knee-jerk response. you got to support the migrants. Shut up, because you don't either. And all the people who are going to say, well, well, I'm black, shut up too. You ain't black, you will stand in. Coon. Again, I, I, I just hate how you get these people who show up here, say, say, well, I'm black and I don't agree. What's your point? Most things that I'm saying, when you look at the polls, most black people actually support. You told me that wasn't the case of freaking reparations. You said that for years. Well, that was BS. You told me that wasn't the case with police reform. Well, that was BS. You told me that was the case when it comes to black empowerment. Well, that was BS. You told me so much about my own people that I already knew. And now you see the cost of not listening to us. We've been telling you about these predatory, disgusting, parasitic, uh, cash grab, federally 
federally protected race soldiers in Chicago and in Illinois and across this country. We've been telling you for the longest time. And now that you see it ain't just us. Now you got to sit back and eat that damn humble pie and shut the hell up. We are sick of repeating the same crap over and over and over. This is why I just block people now. I don't even have debates or discussions. Shut the hell up. What is there to, to, to debate about this story? T tell me. Please fix your mouth. Tell me. Tell me. What is there to debate about this story? What is there to debate about this story? Tell me. There is no discussion that, that can be had about this story. You already got the, 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 the trolls in the comment section. Uh, I still support cops to the fullest. Yes, because you're most likely a predator yourself. At this point, if you support police officers, I don't trust you around, around my child, period. We're not going to have, have a freaking discussion. If you wear that Blue Lives Matter shirt around my child, I'm sorry. I got to defend my child with lethal force. Straight like that. Straight like that. No. No, it's at the point. It's at the point. Whereas these, these predators, they've been on the force. And so if they were doing this to migrants, what do you think that they were doing to all the black people? Because you know you moved all the migrants to the black areas. You don't move them to the white areas. So what do you think these same pigs were doing to black folks? From the Ogden Police Department headquarters and in the Chicago Police Department. What do you think those pigs were doing to all the black people there for the longest time? Black women. Do you think anyone gave a damn about all the black women there? Nope. The migrants, though, well, they ain't black. No, oh, we got we, we to gotta protect the migrants. Excuse me. How long has black people been complaining about the, about the exact same cops? And who, 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 which party, which party is in charge of Chicago? Which party? If you blame Republicans, I'm going to block you. I'm, I'm just not going to have a discussion with you. Marge, you already heard me. I'm not going to have a discussion with you. I'm not going to talk to you. No. I, I'm sick of this, of this, this stupid gaslight game. Who is in charge of Chicago where you're funding these pigs? Who is in charge of this part of the country? It ain't Republicans. It's Democrats. It's Democrats. Democrats. They control this mess. And I and I want to drive that point home for a reason. The point of, of, of me saying that. It's not say that, that the Democrats are worse than Republicans. No, you smooth brain morons. No. The point of me saying this is to say that nobody cares about black people and they certainly don't care about fixing cops. So, this is my official divorce from anyone who wants to push me towards supporting this nonsense. F off. Seriously. Because it's going to be my folks, black folks, who's going to be paying the, the freaking police misconduct settlements, not white folks. It happened in this area. So it's going to come from the folks who live in that area. See, I am sick of people coming to my community, black Americans, and telling us how we have to support every other community out there, even if the person is not a citizen. Because it's going to be us who live in that area, who's going to pay those misconduct settlements. It's going to be us who pays the salary of the same predator police officers. It's going to be us who houses these people now. Because when they're moved out of freaking police stations, they got to go somewhere. And guess where they're going? Into places that are located within the black community, even though the black community has been asking for schools, for homeless shelters, for everything else. They didn't give any of that to black people. They're going to give that to people who are not citizens. And you got people who want to show up in my comment section and lecture me. Oh, no. This, I, I, listen, I've been like this for years. 
You ask anybody that any, anybody that I know, if you come in here telling me how I should support every other community but my own, you got to go. Straight like that. Straight like that. Do I have empathy for people out there who are poor, who are who are homeless, who are desperate? Sure. But I care about my own citizens and especially those who look like me before that. You want to know why? Because if you care so much about people who are in bad conditions, well, guess who are disproportionately your homeless already in this country? It is us. People who look like me. You see this skin right here? You ain't got to go overseas to find nobody to bring them here. Because you care about people. You care about people. So let me get this straight. You got people here who are adopting people from other countries. When they got kids right here that they could be adopted. So these people are going to bring a kid from a different country here. And then the kid who grew up in a foster home is more likely to, to, to commit crime. So the crime is going to happen all around them while they pull someone from a different country. Oftentimes you have mothers out of India and other, and other countries who are literally selling their children. For adoption. Don't you think that's not that's not happening? Come on now. We are we are all of all all freaking freaking adults here. We got common sense. We know what's happening. We know what's happening. You see, these people are important people over here without realizing the consequences of those who live in the in the in the underrungs. See, you don't you don't see a bunch of international adoptions coming out of I don't know Appalachia. You don't see a bunch of international adoptions happen out of you know certain parts of parts of freaking Detroit, Michigan. You know the poor parts, the freaking trail parts. You don't see nobody adopting anybody from from freaking overseas. There, it's these rich white folks, and the same rich white folks are now voting for policies to let people into your community when you can't afford that. And it's all because they can. And now these same rich white liberals who want to fund the police because most of them are just like Joe Biden. They're actually undercover racists. They now have police officers who are predators. Who are targeting the same people they want to bring into the country to replace you because that's why that's that's why they want to fund the police. They hate black Americans. OK, so they want to bring, bring these people into, into this country to actually 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 replace you. And then what ends up happening is when the police abuses those people, guess who's got to pay the police misconduct settlements? We do. Right? And then they don't tell you that many of these people from these, from, from, from these Hispanic countries are very much racist towards black people. I mean, hardcore anti-black racists. So when you get the Enrique Tarrios, you know, leader of the Proud Boys, or the Stephen Rose, whose mother is a Hispanic woman, or you get the majority of, of of sheriff's deputies who are in gangs in certain parts of California are mostly are mostly are mostly Latino men. When you get that kind of stuff happening, everyone sits sits around and acts surprised. These people are literally importing higher taxation. And importing racism into the black community. And we are not allowed to say anything. Because somehow. White people. Who use other people of color. People of color. I, I say in air quotes. People of color. As attack dogs. To attack people like me. To try to shut me up. Use, using people of color. Like Pokemon. Against people like me. To say what the white supremacist. Uh, uh, so called uh, ally liberal. Really wants to say. And even that tactic isn't working anymore because the block button game is so strong. See, it only works when you actually engage them. When you actually care about what them or their followers say. It doesn't matter how big they are, you block every last one of them. And guess what? You move along as business as usual. Right? You see how there's certain people who have tried to leave trolley comments and stuff? Do you see how I just, I just took all the air out of that? 
Now it's not fun to troll anymore, is it? All the air out of it. You have to stand on what you say, man. I used to support, you know, unfiltered immigration. I don't anymore. Because it's being forced into my communities. And if you feel some kind of way, then tell you what, take them into your rich white ones and I'll shut up. But until I, until I, until I, until I, I see that, then uh, no, I can't support it anymore. And I know that that's going to put me in odds with some people in my, in my wife's family. It's going to put me in odds with some people that I know. But I told my wife, don't ever make me choose between my people and someone else. And she understands that. This is why she's never, ever done that. She knows to never come between me and black folks because she knows what's, what's going to happen. I understand this is going to place me at odds with a lot of people who are in-laws. People who I know. People who I do business with. But what, said, what, what I said here needed to be said. You're using these people as a means to drown out black folks and to be quite honest with you, send them back. Send them back because there's a whole lot of Spanish speaking countries they could have went to before they got to bigger Chicago or even Texas for that matter. You're bringing them here to drown us out. You won't convince me otherwise until you move them into your rich white neighborhoods. That way they can drown you out. But you ain't doing that, are you? I'm good. I'm good. No, um, I know how is this going to come across to some people. And I have to stress in the strongest possible way. I don't care. You won't continuously do this to my people and then expect for there to be no drastic change in how I see things. See, at one point I was I was very compassionate. I, I'm known to feed the homeless. I'm known to help people. I'm known I, I'm known that to, to be a very I'm, I'm known to be a guy with a very big heart. Until I'm not. Until I'm not. And this is a bridge too far because you're bringing them here in mass numbers. And drowning out my people, uh, trying to make them make, make it where it's, where where's migrants and people who are not citizens can vote. And, and I, I've had people say, "Well, but that's not true." As soon as you say that, I'm going to block you. I'm not going to talk to you. So just don't try. You know what's going to happen. I'm telling you right now what's going to happen. That's happening. People are trying to to actually do that, and that is they they are also drop. They are actually forcing them into black areas, which also means you, this is is it's a new form. Of redlining. See, they can't be direct with the white supremacy now. They can't be direct with the anti-black racism now. They have to be covert with it. So a covert way to drown out and eliminate black folks is to do it in a very covert way, whereas you bring in a bunch of people who are not citizens and make it so that they can vote. Then the black vote in that area no longer matters. Same thing with the LA City Council. Just a different tactic. Oh, we didn't forget about the LA City Council. They wanted to redline us too. And I had people try to say, well, well that wasn't... Uh, again, I'm not going to have a discussion with you about something that I know to be true. Okay? Same thing happened there. So this is the, same, the exact same attempt. You're trying, you're trying to drown out black people by bringing in a bunch of people who are not black into a black area. If, if, if they're being rushed to Beverly Hills, if they're being rushed to some of the 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 nicer white areas maybe i wouldn't be so loud about it because then you're you are sharing in the pain you know but no you don't want to share in the pain you want to force these people into black areas and that's what we in the black american space uh your native black americans your blacks your black sons of american slaves this is what we've noticed and we're not going to have a none of us not one of us is going to have a debate with, uh, have, have, have a freaking debate with you about it, right because the one thing that 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 we've we are done doing is debating about this. 
No. You want to have debates? Go talk to someone else. I'm not the guy. I do news. I don't do debates. No. So with that being said, we're going to move on to our next story. I know I went in some. I went in. I went in. I went in. But I, I, I promise you that I'll do a news story every now and then where I, I'll just let my hair down, man. I, I can't I can't do it. You know, I got I got to speak from the heart, man. I got to be honest. And a lot of people I know it rubs a lot of people the wrong way. I know. And I must reiterate, I don't care. I spent my life caring about what people think. And that has caused not more people to respect me, but more people to hold me to standards that they never reach. So I'm no longer going to even try to reach your standard. I'm just going to be me. Straight like that. Straight like that, man. Straight like that, man. Straight like that, man. Straight like that. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, I think that's going to be the end of the show. I'll give you a nice little quick show. I'm going to come back and be live again. So you guys be tuned for that, man. Be tuned for that. I'm about to go in a little bit.